Is Bitcoin in another bubble? Well, that seems to be the question on a lot of people's minds right now because Bitcoin and several other cryptocurrencies have been hitting new all-time highs in their price. And so right now we're gonna dive into some charts and answer that question. Welcome back to Chris Dunn TV, the show that's all about teaching you skills to thrive in today's economy. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Now let's go ahead and just jump into some charts. So if we look at a daily chart of Bitcoin going back to the end of 2013, this was Bitcoin's last bubble. I call it the China bubble where we went from about a hundred bucks all the way up over a thousand. And then over the course of 2014, it sold off bottomed out in 2015 and nobody really wanted to buy when Bitcoin was cheap. And then over the past couple of years, you can see Bitcoin has just been in a very, very strong bull trend, meaning we get big runs up, consolidation, big run up, consolidation. And again, that's been happening for a couple of years now. Now, if we look at the live price, one thing you'll notice is that there's been a lot of volatility recently. And if we take a look here at coin market cap, you can see that Bitcoin, Ethereum, Dash, and Monero have all been growing in value pretty significantly. You know, Bitcoin sitting up around 19 or 20 billion dollar market cap. Ethereum recently, just over the past few days, has really gone crazy and is flirting with four billion dollar market cap. Dash has been on the rise recently, as well as Monero and several others. And if we take a look at Dash compared to Bitcoin's price, one thing you'll notice is that Dash has been in a channel for several years and has recently broken out and basically quadrupled in the span of about a month. Now, whenever I see that, I start to get pretty concerned because when markets go up too far, too fast, they typically come crashing down as a parabolic move. Now, there are several factors in play here that I want to talk about. But first, let's go ahead and also just take a look at Ethereum ETH. You'll notice that this thing as of right now is still taking off. It's going parabolic. It's about to hit a new all-time high as I'm talking about this. And you'll notice that um, after the, basically it got ramped up here in the beginning of 2016 and it's had a really rocky road. You know, we had the Dow fiasco, which was the, um, fund that got hacked and a lot, a lot of people lost a lot of money there. And right now, if you take a look at price, um, a lot of people are starting to reposition themselves into altcoins because of some of the fears that are happening in Bitcoin right now. The biggest risk and the biggest fear is the idea and the possibility of a fork. So if we take a look at Vinny's blog, which I'll jump to in a minute, Basically, he just talks about how detrimental a fork would be. And for anybody that doesn't know what a fork is, a fork is where you have a disagreement in the community and you'll basically have a split in the coin. That happened with Ethereum. You now have ETH and ETC. And in Vinny's article, he actually makes some really good points about why this would be so detrimental to Bitcoin's value because really, you know, the biggest selling point of Bitcoin is its stability and is its growth. And so if Bitcoin actually forks and Bitcoin unlimited actually becomes a thing, that could actually be a very, very negative thing for the price of Bitcoin. So I think right now, as we look at the live price action, you'll notice that Bitcoin is actually starting to pull back and there is even a big potential head and shoulders pattern here right now. And just last week, we actually crossed the price of one Bitcoin exceeded the price of one ounce of gold for the first time ever. So that was really big news. So we have right now we have a kind of this weird mix of both really positive news and some pretty scary potentials. And I also want to show you this other article this economist wrote about is Bitcoin in a bubble? And I can actually just kind of recap this for you, but basically he goes through and uh, this guy has a framework for how he actually analyzes bubbles. He was saying that he only gives Bitcoin one and a half out of five points for the probabilities of actually being in another bubble. Now that's just looking at where the economics are right now. Again, if Bitcoin forks, that's going to be a very, very negative thing for the price of Bitcoin. So I just want to quickly also jump back to Dash and take a look at this price action because in my last video, which I'll put a link somewhere here, um, 
I did an interview with Amanda B. Johnson and I actually got a lot of flack from the Bitcoin community because I interviewed somebody from a different cryptocurrency. And one thing I just want to say about that is, look, guys, had I not had an open mind in 2011 to 2013 when I was first evaluating Bitcoin, I would have never even gotten in this space. So when it comes to money, you know, it's funny how many people treat it like religion where they, they pick a belief, they pick an idea and that is God to them and they are not flexible. They don't look for where the innovation and where the development is going. That's what I look for. And also I like to consider myself a trader first where I look at the emotion and price action. I look at the range and I am unbiased long-term either way. I don't care which cryptocurrency wins five or 10 years from now. I just want to be able to gather as much intel and as much information as I can about it to make the best decision that I can. And when it comes to looking at Dash's price right now, this is a bit concerning because it went, it basically quadrupled from the breakout here in late February. Now, that's not saying that we're at a top, but one thing that I do notice is we've had three uh, strong breakout patterns here. The first one happening around 0.025. The second one, which we actually caught live in the trading room the other day here at about 0.05. And then we had another breakout right here. So after about three waves, you do get a deeper pullback. So one thing that I'm going to be doing next week is Rocky and I are going to be hosting a live masterclass uh, in the live market. So we're going to be analyzing all of these price charts live, showing you a lot of the recent trades. And we're going to talk about this in depth. Depth. You know, are we in a cryptocurrency bubble? What's going to happen next? Um, why cryptocurrencies, in my opinion, are the best markets to trade over any other market uh, in recent history? We're also going to talk about how to spot high probability trades by understanding mass human psychology. Because, you know, when it comes to looking at price charts, there's only so much information that that gives you, and it's based on price uh, historical information, not future. So to be able to understand how to like anticipate what's going to happen next, you have to understand mass euphoria and panic. So I'm going to link this up in the description below. So I encourage everybody to come to this because we're going to go through a ton of stuff. This is again, this is going to be live. We're going to have like three hours to block out, to answer all your questions and maybe even catch a trade live. I know, um, last year, one of the live masterclasses we had, we had over 500 people and we had an incredible short in Ethereum. So um, we're also going to talk about some of the other cryptocurrencies and why they gained so much recently and where we think they're going next and the future of cryptocurrencies and different ways to create passive income in this new economy. So right now is just a very, very crucial point uh, in the price action with a lot of these markets, which is why we're going to be doing this live masterclass. So I encourage you to come there. Um, we're going to have a great time. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, I will see you Tuesday at 2 p.m. Take care.